everyone, Comic Review Reviewer here, this time reviewing on the anime series Planets. Now, Planets is meant to be a 26 episode anime television series that was adapted from Makoto Yukamura's manga story that ran from January 1999 all the way to 2004. So with 26 episodes, you can kind of tell they knew what they wanted to tell. I remember watching it on Anime Central, the same with Gundam Seed, Cowboy Bebop, and Witch Hunter Robin. And I would say Planet is like Japan's version of The Office. So the premise of the film, I mean the series, is meant to take place in 2075, where we kind of see how humanity has travelled beyond the stars, and we see how a company known as Technora has a special division that picks up space debris and other, and other garbage from space. We see how a young woman known as Tanabe, who becomes the, the new member of the debris section, I would say Tanabe is more the character who sees things more like a little kid would. And I think the point of the main protagonist, Hachimaki, is supposed to be a bit more realistic and expects Tanabe to see things more realistically. And there are moments where her sort of views does get in the way of things, like how, like how there was this sort of special plate, realising that it's just propaganda, even though Hachimaki and that did point it out. We see how how there's a mummified remains of a, of a space explorer, which they both kind of clash over, deciding what was best. And I would say, other than that, we do see how Tanabe grows up to be a bit more mature, and we do get more time with some of the other characters and see the way they are. We see how Fee is a bit more of the voice of reason and at the same time a big time smoker. And I think her character tries to be realistic in the situations. I know you've got Yuri who is basically the Russian member and at the same time acts like a sort of more calm, kinder and more kind of compassionate member. And there is a bit of an arc finding his wife's lost keepsake, a compass, which he later accepts and moves on from. And I think for the most part, I would say, when you also have Robbie, who is kind of this guy who has seven children, you can tell he does want to climb the corporate ladder, but isn't going to go for the wrong reasons. And I would say, for the most part, I would say the company Technora really does work as a kind of company that wants to do the right things, but at the same time they do things the wrong way. And I kind of feel, yeah, when you've got the Space Defense Front, they're more extremists with their own extreme views. And I think when you've got Claire and Hakeem, I think they're characters who did try to go the distance, but couldn't. You can kind of tell Claire wants to believe what she does is right, and kind of sees Tanabe more as an annoyance. And I think the point of Hakeem went the wrong way, and took things the more extreme way. And I think at the same time, some of the episodes do have a bit of a moral. Like when you've got episode 4, when you've got Corin Clifford, who's meant to be the son of the current chairman, I think there's a bit of a message with him about not taking advantage of your position, of your parents' position, and not trying to make yourself seem like you're this big, important person. And I think when you kind of got Yuri's story with the compass, and when it does get broken because of Hachimi's brother's rocket, it's a message about finally letting go of something and moving on to the future. And I think when you've also got when Hachimaki's old mental comes and kind of accepts his possible death, there is a message about spending the last time with your teammates 
before the clock kicks in. And I think for the most part I would say is that the stories do have a certain theme. I think the early episodes have a more standard office feel. I think the next half of the story has Yuri Saga. And I think that the last part with the whole Technora kind of downsizing, merging and all that. There is a bit of a message with Hachimaki facing his demons. And the point of him facing himself is to face the more darker, more sort of other version of himself. And I think the point of it is that he does go there at times, but at the same time pulls back before making a, a, a complete mess of his life. And I think him finally confronting it and him finally realising that everyone he's met, been with and that are all connected is him finally letting go of, of his old views and being something better. And I would say, given the fact that Planet has 26 episodes, I feel they really do know how to handle the story well. It's basically Japan's version of The Office, much like Digimon with Infinity Train, and also Dragon Ball with the Karate Kid and stuff. I think animes have their own certain version to American cartoons than what people can admit to. I think to me, Planets is more of a guilty pleasure. If you're a fan of space travel or something a bit more of a slice of life story, then this is pretty much your series. So I think it deserves a thumbs up. Still good and still alright. So, comic reviewer here. Signing out.